Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a super cool shake transition effect easy in After Effects. To learn more, make sure to check other shake tutorials on the channel. Also I have made 16 advanced shake presets that you can get from the link in the description. Let's begin, create new adjustment layer. Now go 20 frames forward, hold shift and press page down 2 times and then make sure to cut the ending. Move that adjustment layer above the second clip like that and then scroll to the very beginning of it. Let's apply motion tile effect now and then click on tile center stopwatch icon. Move position Y slightly down like that, but make sure to keep it close to the center something like that. Then scroll forward a bit and move Y position up, and this time stay even closer to the center. Let's scroll forward again and move Y position down and this time be more closer to the center. Finally go to the very end of an adjustment layer and then right click on tile center and select reset. Now check mirror edges and then change output height to 150. Let's scroll back to the beginning and apply CC scale wipe effect. Change direction to 0 degrees and then click on stretch stopwatch icon and then set it to 2. Now scroll to the very end of an adjustment layer and change stretch to 0. Now press U on a keyboard and make sure to select stretch keyframes and then hit F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like mine. Once you are done, scroll to the beginning again and duplicate CC scale wipe effect. On a duplicated one change stretch to negative 2 to stretch the foreground as well. Now let's apply a turbulent displace effect. Change amount to 35, size to 70, complexity to 5. Change displacement to vertical displacement and then make sure you are at the very beginning of an adjustment layer and click on amount stopwatch icon. Now let's scroll to the middle of the layer and let's change amount back to 0. Scroll back to the beginning and apply directional blur effect. Click on blur length stopwatch icon and then change blurriness to 45. Now scroll to the middle again and change blurriness back to 0. Now make sure to enable motion blur on an adjustment layer and we can check the shake effect. Looks amazing. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.